Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Scrappy Saturday. So I am going to use Scrappy Saturday to yet again work on things for um, these five journals that I'm doing. So uh, these actually were scraps already used. We're going to work with those a bit. I want to do a fabric flip for the farm journal. Yeah, this is in that today. So let's get started. Hi and hugs to Peg, Gloria, Barbie, and Terry. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okie dokie. Here's the thing I wanted to do first, I think, with these. Is I wanted to make some ephemera pieces for these... Um, pieces that we made yesterday and then we are going to use some more things in the forgotten friday mystery box forgotten friends friday mystery box so um so yeah that's that's kind of what we're going to be up to so i'm kind of looking at these to see what would kind of slide in and show through that would actually be really pretty I kind of don't, I don't know. Can't go that way. Hmm, 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 hmm. And this one doesn't have a back, but we could give it one. Yeah, I don't like that either. Okay, well, I guess we'll make one with some scraps. So, let's see here. I wonder if I have a, let me see if I have a, scrap of cardstock I was wondering um, that would be very handy if I did but I'm not not seeing one at the moment oh everything's too little oh there it is all right scrap look at that that fits perfect awesome Okay, so let's let's figure out what me might, might like going this way on it. Um, I actually think I might pull from um, like one of the one of the one of these <laughs> like that or. No, no, no. I mean, that could, that could show through. That could be nice. Yeah. And this one I was going to put in the bee journal. So, okay. That's decided. But then let's put some scraps above and below. So, um, I've got this, which is very pretty. Um, this one has a little bit of a, yeah, okay. Okay, we're off and running, I think. Let's do this thing. So, hope you're all having a good weekend so far. Gosh, I hope you're staying cool. I can't believe how hot it's been in parts of the U.S., but also Europe. Goodness sakes. Um, yeah, and I think for the most part, they don't have any air conditioning there because they normally don't need it, but oh my goodness, it's been so hot. Hot, hot, hot. So, um, yeah, so I hope people are staying, staying safe and everything. Okay, and then I want a strip at the bottom, which I think that one would be perfect. So, easy peasy. This is going to work out great. Don't you love it when things come together like they're meant to be? Like finding just the right piece of cardstock and just the perfect image. Okay, now that should, yes. Okay, I think we better have a new, or at least fold this over, because 
It's getting goopy. Oh, we'll do that. Okay. So, yeah, I thought we'd, I mean, I think I'll be incorporating these five journals, the projects with them. I'll be incorporating them a little bit into some of my, like, scrappy days. And like I did yesterday with the Forgotten Friends Friday. It worked out perfect, though, to get some. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. That snuck up on me. Um, It worked out perfect, though, to get some ephemera ready to go shoot that's not straight gail maybe i'll go down the other line and not worry about the bottom okay let's go like this yes that's better ever so much better Okay, cool. And what's awesome is it's already cardstock. I think I'll round the corners. And I think somewhere in all of this, all of these wonders from Summer's Bounty from the Junk Journal Studio on Etsy, somewhere there is tabs. And I want, I think I want a little tab for it in here yes they are I see them I see them can I get them that would be cute on there okay better get out the, the this oh let's do maybe we'll do wild honey on this instead Cool. Let's do some on this side too. And we better do this a little bit. That's kind of pretty with the green. I like it. Okay. So, let's stick this up here because I know I'll need it put this on and we'll have one done and used up a couple scraps from yesterday okay cool so that is going to go in here oh I like it perfect Okay, and then on this side, well, first of all, it looks like we need a little bit of glue. And then I want to make like a small journaling card type tag for that. Um, oops, running into something in my little glue box there. Okay, so I think we can use one of these for this okay i'm looking at this i think that might be okay kind of back that and look it says bees right there okay i'm gonna cut that right on top of the bees let's see Better use a cutter. I don't trust myself. Okay. Yes. And this little guy will come in handy at some point. We don't know. Perfect. Okay. So now, back to the scraps. Oh. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Um, let's see, let's see. Quite. Oh, that's close. Let's use that. Okay. 
Okay. Let's just... It's just a bit of... Um, I think that's paper sack, I think is what it is. Okay. I'm going to, oh, nope, I was going to say, I'm going to let myself throw this away. No, I'm going to put it in my stamping bucket. <laughs> oh, gosh, I got a little gouge of glue, didn't I? Okay. Um, I'm going to clip, clip its wings again. Or corners, which have. Okay, uh, this is from a different set from um, Kara Brandon Creates, but I feel like it goes well, so we'll go with it. <clears throat> I think I want another little tab on, on the side of it. Isn't that cute? Boy, that came together great. Having bees on there, that how did I do that? <laughs> how did that happen? Okay, I'm kind of thinking, what if I... Ooh, there's a bee one. What if I did like a little tab like that? That would be cute. So... Oh, I'm happy. Now this piece is just like all ready to go. But you can really see in my process of, you know, trying to get some ephemera done for this journal, how much easier it is when you have your pre-made stuff. It really does, does make creating your journal go a lot faster. But, you know, oops. That would be upside down. <laughs> I was thinking, uh-oh, did I put that on the wrong side? And then I'm like, nope, upside down. Oh, except that this goes at the top. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, it's going to go like that. It's going to go like that. So, excuse me. this to be at the top. Oops, and we need that to be different. <laughs> How badly can you mess up a little tab? Well, it depends on who you are. <laughs> yes, I'm pretty good at it. Oh gosh. Okay, please fit. Didn't check that. Okay, it's gonna fit. This needs to be just snipped slightly right there. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're okay. Okay, that's that's very fun. Okay, so this is gonna go over the top of a page. So it'll be yeah, that'll be great. All right. So we did that. Um, I wanted to make three um, journal cards for these sacks. I have them in various various ones of the of the things. I'm not going to use that because that's got a B on it, and none of these are for the B. Um, that could be nice, just there. So, if I cut this about here, 
and we might want a little bit to stick out. And I'll cut it right about here. Okay. do this one first. We'll do as I always do. I try and cut the biggest part that will be left first. Then as I do this one, it's more like a little strip. So, so that's going to be left over, but that would be super cute little side tuck or something. So, so let's make sure we fit. And we do. Okay, cool. Um, let's think about the others too. Okay, this one goes over there, and then I have oh, there's one in the farm too. That's right. So we can kind of I might as well cut them all at the same time, is what I'm thinking. Um, I do need to trim this off. A little bit of the backing is showing. Okay. So let's see. This would be nice for the um, farm one, I think. Our... Um, our smoke detector on the level up from my craft room is beeping. And when my husband goes out the door, for some reason, that triggers it. Okay, so there's another, can be a tag. So, yeah, kind of a, kind of a pain in the neck is what it is. Ooh, I have a thought. I have a thought with this. I'm going to grab this and put it with the other one, too. Okay, and then this one will make for the other one, which I think this area would be good. So, let's... Oh, wait. Oh, that's the B one. Okay, so this one, this one has to be backed, but that's okay. I kind of had kept that for pockets, but that's all right. We'll just, we might have to do another couple of boards for pockets, I'm thinking. Okay. Okay, so let's cut that and then I'll back it. That's a nice leftover piece. And then, okay, that's cute too. Okay, so my thought is, well, first of all, let's back this. Um, what do I have? Here's some coffee dyed paper, a little scrap of coffee dyed paper. Organize. All right, back this real quick. Now I this stuff I make and I may go back and sew on it, you know, because I do, I do enjoy a little sewing around the edge of journal cards. So we'll see. I don't know that it needs it, but. I might just want to do that. I don't know. We're going to see. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to set that aside. And this little piece here, will I'll set aside for stamping words and numbers and stuff on. Okay. Okie dokie. So, my thought is with this, what if I put this on the back as a little tuck in the back. Would that be cute? 
I think it might be cute. So, trim that up the scotch. And it's a good it's a good use for that little piece that we cut off. So, I am going to just do this on three sides. along the edge okay so there's that one let's see this one what's oh, cute oh, I like it <laughs> that was fun fun way to use those we could have just put them on a page too but can you tell I'm kind of into the ephemera making right now? I'm having fun with it. So, we'll just do this. Okay, so there's the other one. And then this one, this one's a little thicker, but I think it's still okay. Let me trim off the edges. Little, little bitty bits. I want to have time to do the other thing I had in mind as well, so I think we will. Okay, there is that. Okay. That one kind of nearly takes up half the back, but that's okay. Put something in it. Alrighty then, let's look at these. I think I want to round the corners again. Maybe just the quarter inch. Yep. And, and then I also want tabs. I don't know that I have that many more in the kit, but if not, we'll look in my stash of whale tails and see what we have. Now will that, yeah, a tab will be fine, it won't won't make too much of a difference. This one looks like it needs a little more glue right on the end there. Sorry about that. It's just, it's just coming up. Can't have it coming up. It's thick, so I think that's the issue. But... I'm, I'm happy with those. Okay. Now, we are going to, I need to move this. It's in my way. Okay. I need to wipe this off. Okay. So now, we have those. Oh, I do see, I do see some more tabs. In this, in the labels area, there's a bunch of tabs. So, let's see what we, see what we like. I think I like the green on that one. Let's look at it, this one on that. That's fun. And let's do that for something different. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Let's, these all go in the other journals. We don't necessarily need to use the um, Wild Honey ink. Take me 
me just a second to zip around these. So I get to have lunch with my friend Diane tomorrow. I'm super excited. I may have some exciting news to share with her on, uh, about her on Sunday. How's that for a little teaser? Which is just tomorrow, isn't it? When when this airs. Um. So yeah, It'd be fun. Anyway, she is. She sent out the first. Um, email for her September retreat, which is so exciting. And um, I'm so excited because her sister is coming and her, I've never met her sister. I feel like I know her because Diane talks about her all the time, um, but I have never met her. So I'm excited about that. And the other fun thing about that, it means that I get to be roommates with Diane's daughter. So that's going to be super fun. We've never, I mean, because she's always, she's always roomed with her mom, you know. And, um, but I think, I, I want to say her sister lives in um, Oklahoma or somewhere. So she's coming a good distance. But, um, yeah, so that's very exciting. I don't know if that means usually Diane and her daughter ride with me. And I don't know if that means that she'll take Diane will take her own car or we'll have one more, which I don't know how we'll fit any more um, supplies, but <laughs> so it might be dri I could be driving by myself, but my friend Lynn is home is I have heard. I need to I need to text her. And, um, so she and I could go together, maybe. Should be fun. So, I don't know. It's early. We're just at the planning stages, right? So, but I'm excited. I want to get more journal kits done. Because, like, this one, right, doing these journals is taking five of my of my kits that I had prepared. So I'm going to have to do some more. Oh, darn it. <laughs> I have to do more. Okay. Now, how did I have those? So I feel like this one was here. Um, this one was with the farm. And this one was with this one. Oh, I'm very happy with those two. Gosh, today's a good, good crafting day. Okay, so we feel, oh, except this still needs a little something right there. We'll have to remember that. Um, but... I don't think I want, you know, this for the little spot. Okay, so I think I'm going to continue with paper. All I have to do on this is sew it together. So maybe I'll just show you. I have some hen fabric, a little piece of that, a little piece of strawberry, and a little piece of outhouse. <laughs> and I'm going to put this across the top. I wonder if we have like um, a little lace scrap that could go across. I'll just throw that in for doing something with it. Okay, do I've got my little my little bit o oh, lace. Basically, it's scraps. I'm just gonna see if there's something. There's this. I'm telling you, today is like 
the best. Things are just fitting, just making it so easy. Okay, so I won't sew that on camera. All I'm going to do is run a zigzag stitch down that, or maybe a, maybe a straight stitch. I think maybe a straight stitch. So I'm just going to set it over on my um, sewing machine because the farm one was the only one missing uh, that. So, okay, guys. So what I thought is I was wondering, this, this is out of the mystery box. Key punching cards. And what I was wondering, let's just grab this journal and take a look. Um, could I use those as a belly band? Not really that way, but I could. I could use them like this way. So if I cut that at about in between the seven and eight, that would be a cute little sideways belly band for each one. So let's do that and then let's decorate them. Okay. So I need five of these, right? One, two, three, four, five. I'll put the rest back in the mystery box. I think I can cut these two at a time and it won't get angry with me. Let's go this way. Right there. Those would be those would be fun little tags. So that's what we might pop into that one space um, on that one sack. Okay. All right. There's that. And one more. Okay, cool. So I have these to work with. And one of them I'm going to ink with the wild honey. This will be in the bee journal. Then we'll know that one that one is for the is for the bees. <laughs> Instead of for the birds, it's for the bees. Okay. Gosh, I had a bee that was harassing me yesterday afternoon when I was sitting out on out on my deck. Oh, and then I I just came and sat down. I had a robin. I'm not kidding you. It was zipping and it was like that far from my head. It just zipped right past me. I was like, dude, did you not see I'm here? Man. He was on his way to something important, I think. Okay. Meanwhile, while I'm doing this, I'm kind of doing a bit of scouting of scraps. Um, I think I'll probably want some book page. And then I'll use some of those scraps. And then I had printed... I had printed some papers, which technically aren't scraps, but once I cut into them, they will be. So um, I might use some of those. And we'll just kind of play with these. I'm, I'm loving that I'm using a few things out of the mystery box. We might, you know, it's, it's full, so it's got plenty of... Room. Oh, and then I still have I still have these too. I could cut a few things out of. Just as a reminder to myself. Oh yeah, and then that's the oh shoot, I forgot I um I did some cutting out of this kit last night and I meant to bring it down. I'll have to grab that before the next video that I filmed. Okay, so I love that. I'd like to use a bit of that. What else do we have? Oh, I love this too. I love them all. What can I say? 
Um, do we have any? Oh yeah, that's a great one too. I was wondering if I had any yellow. I do. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Okay. Just a few things out of that to play with, perhaps. And make some scraps. Let's make some scraps. Okay, let's do the B1 first. I'm just going to set those aside. I thought I had, well, I did in my B projects box. I think I have some die cuts of bees, but B farm um, sunflower are the ones that have kind of a theme to them. Okay, so, but I want some book page first. Um, hmm, or maybe some music would be nice. I might. Put a little book page there. It's maybe along there. I think I'm going to want that, so I'll just set that aside. Okay, and then put this little piece. And use this a little bit. I could probably use that. Um, I, think I kind of want like a little square piece or something. So I'm going to set that up with my scraps. A little squarish piece. Something like that. Okay, I do want those. I think I might use vintage photo rather than just to make them stand out a little more. Gosh, I better keep track of time. Oh, I'm doing good. Once again, I just get lost doing this kind of stuff. I love it so much. Okay. Husband's coughing up there again. Goodness. So much better though. Not not to worry. He's doing great just about to normal, I would say. Okay, let's just, let's just start laying some stuff down. Now we could do a little lace at the bottom if we wanted. I was thinking. Um, I have, I'll show you in a second. I'm just gonna plop that kind of down there. This one kind of right here. And maybe a little focal point, but what I was thinking is I 
have this lovely lace. I think this is from Inked Paper Art, if I'm not mistaken. Again, it's not labeled, so I'm not positive, but I think, I think that's right. But I was looking at this yellow. I haven't used any yet, and I would like to. Just wondering how that might be like on that side, just on the bottom. I'm going to do it just because. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in paper art. Please correct me if I'm wrong. You're always welcome to do that because, you know, it's a lot to remember. <laughs> and sometimes I drop the ball on it. Okay, and then I'm just going to lay this down. Make sure I get the right side. This is the right side. Oh, that's cute. Cute little lace. So, what about, because she also has these little um, words that she stamped on there. There's some yellow ones. There's some green ones. Um, oh, that's, that's not green. This is green. Flower. A little bigger one. I think I like the bloom better. I feel like Feel like I need some bees on it. You know what I would like is a stamp, like a bee stamp. But I think those are in my bucket across the room. I need to get that bucket. I've got my farm one. I need my bee one. I think. Where is my bee one? I think it's right over there. Okay. Well. I'll get that before the next one and well, the next video, because we'll probably be finishing these up on that one. But so far, that's it for like a, and then I'll glue here and glue here and have that be a belly band. Um, have a cute tag behind or something. Okay, so, so far so good on that one. Might, might do a little more with a little stamp, because I don't think. Let me just look quick. No, I think, I think my bee stamps are in my bee, um, in my bee thing. <laughs> okay, but I did, that's really fun. Let's do another one. Okay, what would be like on this? This is, oh, there's some good vegetables. Let's cut those vegetables. Oh, I can just use my, I don't need my cutter. What am I thinking? Okay, we'll do a vegetable one for the, for the farm, the farm situation. Ooh, I love all those too. Scrappies. Gotta love the scrappies. Do I want to go here? It is kind of fun tearing these and figuring out how to get around the uh, the different, you know, the logo and stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go here. Okay, and here. There we go. Okay. This 
is kind of cool just on its own. I don't know. I'm just playing here, guys, trying to get a little sense of what I might want to do. I don't want to cover up all those numbers because I think that's kind of cool. I could do like half of it on one and half on another, couldn't I? like that. Maybe this one will just do a little differently. Okay. So what else do we want? This little kind of fun piece. I like that. I need some book page though. I do, I do. It's just how it is. What about? Got some, some of this. Put that on right there. And then you could see the numbers through it, kind of. Mm, I don't know. Kind of, I think I would like that for the farm one. Maybe I'll put this over here. And that there. Okay, and then I need something right there. Excuse me, am I completely off? Having these scraps right here is not good. They end up working too low. Um, I don't know. I'm not convinced on that little scrap. Um, these might be pretty. Kind of fun. This is from a cover sheet of Artsologies. I think it's called Blue Grunge. <laughs> All the scraps. That's a pretty scrap. Kind of like that. Okay. Tear off that little edge. quiet sorry I have nothing to say <laughs> oh, let's see so this I wanted kind of like right there so I'm going to say on the 48 line that is one nice thing about these numbers you can kind of line things up and remember where to put them okay right um there <clears throat> okay, Let's stick that 
right under the numbers. Okay. Now, what I'm wondering is if I have a piece of ephemera that would that would enhance this. How about a big old plate of strawberries? <laughs> I actually kind of like that. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you know, whatever. Let's see. Here. Might be cute there. I don't know. I'm just I'm just filling it up, aren't I? I was joking about this plate of strawberries and then I really liked it. Never know. You never know. I have in this little this little other thing I've got some other stamps you know this is from STL finds by Lori and it's a vintage pack and it's got these little it's got these s &H green stamps I thought they might be kind of fun to put somewhere on this one I don't know I'm going to do that. Oh, I just love decorating. It's so much fun. The only thing that would be better is if you guys were here and we were crafting together. I sent a message to my retreat gals and said, I wish we were crafting together today. Okay, I don't know whether I want anything on the bottom of that or not, but that's an option. When I put it in the book, I can always decide too. Let's see how we doing. Gosh, we've got about five minutes is all. Well, we'll see if one, another one comes together. If it doesn't, if it doesn't, it doesn't. Let's see, and if I put that down like that, that's kind of cute. I need some like... I need some book page. Ooh, this is cool. Might that be kind of fun on there? Maybe go sideways. Ooh, I like that. Okay. I'm going to look for a sun, something sunflowery for this one, I think. I don't know, maybe sunflowery for this one. Maybe just flowery. Okay. So this guy, I want to go about there so in between the 19 and 20 that this was a good scrap in my little bucket in between the 19 and 20 no oh yeah this line that's what I meant my watch is telling me it's time to stand up I am busy. <laughs> I will stand up later. Stand up when I walk to the computer to upload this video. <laughs> and not a second before. Thank you. Okay, and this one. Do you want to go? That way. 
And let's see if we can find a flower. And we will have three of five done anyway. Like that. Okay, there are flowers in here. I just don't know. These are all too big. Oh, look at this cute little one. That's kind of cute. It's a little watering can. Where do I want it? I hate to cover up that much of that, but I guess some is still sticking out. But then I need a word or something right there. And I think I need a or would it take it work? I want something kind of vertical. I'm telling you guys, I have had fun with this kit. There's just so much to it. You can just do so much. It's so fun. Let's see. Um, let me put these back. Before something happens to them. This one, I'm feeling some lace at the bottom on this one. Just a bunch of this is and that's really <laughs> on these, but I'm having fun. Okay, I think I want that one. I'm going to go up. Okay, that needs a word right there, but I left them upstairs. Okay, what about... Huh, I would like... Let's see if we have any scraps that we could use. Oh, there's a cute little red scrap. That would have been cute under there. I wonder if I can get it up. Yep. And I'll do this so that it for sure sticks. Okay, now I'm happy. I don't even think I need a word now necessarily. I'll see how a word looks. Okay, well, we did three. This one's in the works kind of. And we got three of those done along with the other pieces. So I think we'll go ahead and call it a Scrappy Saturday video. Yay, we're done for today. And then tomorrow we will, um, tomorrow I'm going to continue. I want to make some over the page belly bands for this. I want to see if I can find some paper. I'm feeling like I might need to decorate it the those with the dig you know with things from the digital. So anyway, that is the scoop. Have a grateful day, everyone. Have a fun weekend, and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.